On Sunday night, Sir Elton John's emotional homage to the late singer George Michael who would have been 60 years old stunned the Glastonbury audience. The 76-year-old pop great, who was good friends with the late singing genius, broke down in tears as he headed to the famed Pyramid stage for the Farewell Yellow Brick Road tour's last UK performance. The crowd was in utter wonder at the emotional moment, so the renowned singer picked his iconic 1974 ballad song Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. As today would have been George's 60th birthday, Elton began the song with a touching prelude in memory of his late buddy, who passed away from natural causes at the age of 53 in December 2016. After introducing his band, the tiny dancer hitmaker said, I wonder how I'm going to approach it. It's a very, very special day today. George Michael was one of the best vocalists and songwriters in Britain. I wish to dedicate this song to my buddy, who was also an influence, since today would have been his 60th birthday. He left us with such beautiful music throughout. George, this is for you. As his musical guests paid him respect on stage, he was spotted taking off his renowned red-tinted glasses to wipe away tears. The crowd was then blown away by the pop icon's stunning rendition of the song during his legendary star-studded show. And that was just one of the many shocks Elton brought to the storied event, which mocked what may have been his final ever UK performance. As fireworks went off, the celebrity entered the stage wearing a gold suit and sat down at the piano. He then said he never imagined playing the event for a special and emotional performance. I never imagined I'd perform Glastonbury, and here I am, he stated as he began his act with Pinball Wizard and then played The Witch's Back. I had better play well and keep you entertained because you've been waiting there for so long, and I truly appreciate all the dresses and everything. It's a really memorable and emotional night for me since it could be my final performance ever in England. He then performed Benny and the Jets and Daniel for a packed pyramid stage audience. For the song Are You Ready For Love, Sir Elton was joined by Gabriel's Jacob Lusk and the London Community Gospel Choir. When I chose my guests for this show, I wanted to have newer artists, except for one person, and this boy I heard last year on the radio. I've asked him to come to Glastonbury to do his song, and he's an amazing young talent, he said after Someone Saved My Life Tonight was performed. Stephen Sanchez then joined him to play Sanchez's song Until I Found You. Brandon Flowers, the lead singer of The Killers, entered the stage wearing a red jacket and joined Sir Elton on stage for a performance of Tiny Dancer, a song they had both co-written and produced. Don't Go Breaking My Heart was performed on stage with him by vocalist Rina Sawayama, who was nominated for a Brit. To the raucous audience, he also sang renditions of Candle in the Wind, Your Song, and Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. On day five of Glastonbury Festival on Sunday, Debbie Harry of Blondie was every bit the edgy rock icon as she ascended the pyramid stage to perform with her band. At the Somerset, England, location, celebrities including actress Kate Hudson, 44, and fashion designer Stella McCartney, 51, kept an eye on the singer, 77. She wore a black t-shirt underneath her mini dress with matching blazer and sequins.
The American hit maker attacked the stage with the band while donning futuristic mirror dark visor sunglasses and black overknee leather boots. Blondie started their concert with the popular song One Way or Another with static buzzing over the rear screen, but several people in the audience and watching at home complained they couldn't hear. This weekend's world-famous event has a number of major headliners, including Elton John, Arctic Monkeys, and Guns N' Roses. With 900 acres, the Somerset Farm contains over 100 distinct stages and over 30 areas.